Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mokalever, and thank you for joining me back here in Old World Blues, playing as New Reno, but hopefully soon to be the good old Enclave. And remember, never let the mutants live or thrive. But last time we took out Vault City, and right now we're having a good time trying to finish off the Nine Jimmy Clan Focus, where we lose a few caps, but our infantry get quite a bit more soft attack. So, a couple comments. First, uh, someone was asking if Yampa has a unique focus tree in general. In base Old World Blues, Yampa does not have a unique focus tree. You want the mod compilation 2 to see their unique, awesome, awesome focus tree. Cool. Uh, so someone also left a comment yesterday detailing that. We need to keep an eye out. Apparently, if you become the Enclave too fast, you get locked out of some focuses, maybe? I double-checked, and I actually played this just a little bit to see what would happen. I mean, nothing's changed. Like, this is where we left off literally from yesterday. But just to see what would happen... Uh, when we become the Enclave, we can still pretty much do everything, maybe except for stuff right here. So here's a plan. By the end of this episode, hopefully we will become the Enclave. For realsies. Ooh, and that one might be really good to do first, actually. Let's grab this one first, and then we'll do one of the trees where we might have to do before we actually become the Enclave, but Vault Vikings. Vault Vikings came from the north, from Oregon. According to them, two, people, two more people lived in their vaults, Saxons and Celts. But only they left alive, only they were the ones alive from the vault. They created their small kingdom around Portland. But reports to flee south when the Black Iron Monsters arrive. We lose more caps, get three divisions, and damage to garrisons goes, on, goes down by 20 whole percent, which would be great. Ooh, actually, what type of division? 16 combat with. Well, we've had worse. We've definitely had worse. Our average guy has only 10 combat with. So we made an improvement. So that's pretty good. And also a good, great set of. Enclave remnants right here, and I did ask you guys yesterday, is Nevada really the Golden State? It's it's known, its nickname literally is the Silver State, so there used to be a ton of silver in Nevada, but I don't think there's that much left there today, but I could be wrong, but mm, yeah, it has history of having a lot of silver. Cool. Next up, uh, we can't distress outsiders. I really don't want to spend a lot of political power here, since... We're gonna need it for when we actually become the Enclave. Runs with Hatred would be pretty good to get. It's not the best, but it's not bad. I'll probably just invest in cars. Nah. No. Armored APCs. Eh. Tanks. Eh. This stuff. I wish that we... They might update this sometime. Hey, but it's usually pretty worthwhile to do Victorious Flyers to get more air equipment technology, research speed, bombs, planes, close air support. Just, if you can get 10% more agility and ground attack for close air support, that's pretty much worth it. Wow, that manpower is not looking good right now. Wow, you know what, since we're making divisions, get rid of one division too. That'll be fine, since we are, we did take out Vault City last time, and we are trying to core them, so it's going to take a little bit of time to get them fully <clears throat> where they need to be. Yes. Resistance is going up still. Oh, it's actually going up. We, even though we have Westland Pacification, please give me more compliance. That would be muy bueno. And I do have a couple of nice Nevada and Cobb here to keep us good, warm, and slightly happy. Or at least satisfied. Yeah, that manpower is dropping. I don't like that. We need more infantry armor. Ooh, Vault Vikings. Good. Oh, that's exactly why I got that. Sergeant. Power armor. That would be really good to do, but let's rush this side, because we don't need to do expansionism yet. All roads lead to Reno. All roads truly lead those looking for a night off of fun to Reno. Investing in the local infrastructure is sure to lead us into more businesses, and of course, into what we really want, which is more profit. Oh, Vault Bike. Oh. Nice. Train mongrels. Cool. Very cool. We definitely need those guys. Can we do this? It's a little bit ahead of time. That's fine. You know what? Hmm. Do that one, too. Do we? Can we get anything else here? Probably not. I just need to save on manpower for now. We can't afford to lose too much. So the Vault Viking... Oh, my gosh. You are all... Wow. Ooh. I might just convert you to armor. Because you could probably... You'll probably get pierced. I love the support equipment they have. You know what? This is probably a bad idea. I'm going to con... Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, I just, I don't want to use these guys as regular infantry. I just want one template for everyone. Oh, hold on. Which one am I using? Infantry Force or Force 2? Force is okay. Force 2 is okay. They're exactly the same. Let's do the, do the original Force. So everyone, you're all going to become the Force. We save manpower. 
which is good. Uh, I like you guys. I really do. We can save some uh, support equipment for now, which is which is okay to do. It's not a great thing to do. We could use more resources too. Ooh, yeah. Advanced components. That's not good. Planes. Yes. Very much yes. Anything else here? Yes. Mongols will be very nice. Crowd control. We're making... Oh, we got quite a bit since we converted those guys over, which is quite nice. Vault Vikings 20 versus... Really, we don't need this. We really don't need that, so... Riders. Good. Mm, that's probably not enough. Yeah, we're going to switch back at least one of these sets. The militia, that should be good. Just in case, do that one too. There you go. That should save us a good amount. Not bad, not bad. Just got to make sure we do and put everyone where they need to be. Do we have enough water? We do have enough water. I'll probably just save up to core the courtyard first. Yeah, so we get to the vault city itself, which is always a good thing to do. As we're just kind of waiting for time to go on so we can get through these focuses more quickly. Runs with hatred. Oh, Kiva. Nanjimi. Oh, yeah, lucky. Intelligent. Wow, Corvus. H. Corvus. Runs with hatred. Lucky. Nice. Aqua boy, aqua girl. We'll wait. We'll choose that later on. Uh, let's do that one. Good. And we're almost done. Only 10 more days for this focus, which is a good thing. Uh, can we buy slaves? We could buy more slaves. Eh, since we're a new arena, we might as well for now. The Art of Hagling, cool, even though we probably won't need it for in the future. Gun-wise, we are doing pretty darn well. We could maybe get a few more caps, sell updated equipment, sure. Increase our relations with those guys, and we'll come down this way. Extended contracts for more manpower. Unlike the tyrannical new NCR, we don't force our citizens to fight. Instead, individuals with particular sets of skills sign up for the mobster families as protection. Extending these contracts will lead to more reserve manpower. Supposedly. Supposedly. And that'll actually be very, very helpful. Additional plating, good. Go ahead and grab this next, even though it's a little bit ahead of time, which is okay. Concentration of force would be very good for more organization and recovery rate. Good. Uh, you guys are doing okay. I'm actually going to pull you out. Special forces are going to be under someone else. Runs with hatred. Capture the... Okay. Perceptive. Lucky. Enduring. You're good on attack, so we're going to do that. Mm-hmm. Smith Falker's always good to do. Nice. Cool. And let's come over here and do that. And that'll give us more max speed. 10% for infantry. Not bad. Not bad. Because you are definitely worth your weight in gold. If anything, we'd probably do this. If we were to go to war with the Yakuza tribe right now, even though... I keep calling them a tribe. They're not a tribe. Stockpile-wise, we don't really know. But it looks like they're not doing that well with all that resistance. Holy smoke, Arenos. Infantry equipment, extended contracts, good, good. So, Golgotha restoration for even less damage to our garrisons. Golgotha is a graveyard outside of Reno where the dead were buried and the enemies of certain set families were sent to be disposed of. Restoring Golgotha to its original purpose would remove the enemies of mobster families much more discreetly. And that's always good to be discreet, especially when you're dumping trash in other people's uh, trash cans. Not saying I do that, not saying my family does that, but anyways, whatever. Cool. Yeah, we could probably, we could probably take these guys out pretty easily. And I don't think in our focus tree for expansionism that we had that at all. Tying up loose ends, sake. Uh, Yakuza territories, we need all of their territories under us. Oh, we do get a war goal against them, so there's no point. We might just rush that next, maybe. We'll see what happens, we'll see what happens. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I don't want to spend political power if we don't have to, and that's always a good thing to do. But do we get a court? We can, we can go to war, but I see something lovely here. Hmm. Art. Japanese, Japan steel, probably more like Japanese, got some lakes, spoils of war, smoke signals, setting up shop, oh, we do get cores on it, so that's actually really nice, uh, do I want to go to work for that, flexible designs, nice, grab that next, that's okay, that's really just uh, connections with the south, of course, I don't see anything with Vault City, though, even though we did take it over, so, Mm, yep, can't do that. City of Sin. We could do that. Nevada Pact. Probably can't do that. Yeah, well, actually we can. Arch oh, what, well, we can't, because Arch Dornan cannot be the leader at the same time. How about this one, though? Arch Dornan is not... Well, we might not be able to as well. Red is not currently the leader, huh? Arch Dornan is not. State of New Reno? Mr. Bishop has to be... And right. Okay, well, we'll see what happens. There's no guarantee. Not like we have to do all the focuses anyways, so. 
we'll do as many as we possibly can. And the world seems pretty peaceful with the control warrant dead. And of course, guys, I was killing the mothers. Guys, are you are a mother killer? Hmm. Golgotha restoration, very good. We could go to war. Oh, good. Good. We definitely need this. Oh, renovation of Salvatore Bar. Salvatore Bar has a reputation of rather small, but at the same time, extremely elite institution, where not everyone is allowed. There are no gambling machines and roulette tables near which there are beggars, though. This place attracts the richest guests of the city. So that's the last one, I think. The last focus we need to do before we actually become the Enclave, because we, I believe we can still do stuff okay if, without when we become the Enclave, I believe. If not, we, I might just have to use console commands, which is, you know, whatever. What happens, happens. So with that one done, we can automatically go down to Renesco's Pharmacy and then do new, you know, arms, which would be cool. Everything costs a lot of money. Pulling the savages, that is antelope tribes. Hmm, large-scale slavery. Ah, not bad. Rely on slaves. Can I get a pop-up here? No? Okay. Get cats, lose stability, more population. Assimilation, more manpower. Slags. Lords of the North. Placing a bet, we get cores on those three territories. Doesn't look like... We should really probably just core Vault City. How much man? 1.15. That's not a lot today. That's that's okay. Not a lot. It takes forever to get compliance since I am not going to raise uh, outsider volunteers because it doesn't make sense for the Enclave to do that. It doesn't make any sense. Decode signals. Very nice. That'll be good. And we are... Oh, it's only 30 days. That's not bad. That's actually really good. And we get a free civilian factory. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Come on, increase. Keep going higher, higher, higher. Oh, actually, is it going down? 49. Oh, it is going down. So they're actually doing that correctly. All right, cool, cool. Very cool. Hmm. I still want to go to war with them. I still really, 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 really want to go to war with them. Oh, defense company. Hmm. Let us go to war with them first. Expansionism. Sure, Reno's the biggest little city in the world, but why confine ourselves to a little city? We're a big power in the waste, and it's time that we was re we were recognized. Why not expand our borders just a little bit? We've got Vault City under us. We're mobilizing more soldiers. We got a cup of coffee here. What's what could be better than that? You know, what could be better? Maybe raising our conscription law eventually. That would probably be pretty good. Uh, how many things of support equipment do we have? We have got quite a bit. Power armor. We'll make the enclave remnants if possible. That'd be fine. Yeah, you guys have to be t 20 combat with that minimum. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Infantry force. Uh, do we have enough for anything here? Do we have enough demo equipment? Maybe, maybe not. No, we don't. So let's not throw that one on yet. We probably don't have enough doggos either. We definitely don't have enough doggos. Demo, we already saw. Fire teams? No. Well, maybe not anyone first. Go ahead and remove that. And throw on infantry. It's going to kill our manpower for a little bit. But that's okay. We definitely need bigger uh, divisions. And that killed. That definitely killed the manpower off. Okay, let's go ahead and raise this. And raise that militias. Two percent more population. That's fine. It's totally fine. Whatever. It's a necessary evil. And we need more guns too. Oh, well then. That's okay. It's a necessary evil. Anything we don't hear, we pretty much need everything there. That's fine. Anything else? No? Pretty good. And we get some more political power, too, with expansionism. Which is nice. <sighs> Rapid deployment. Flexibility command. Mm, I'm not really going to need support companies on our enclave divisions too much. So, I'll get more bre breakthrough. Yeah. I don't know why you would choose the other one. Breakthrough is just so good. Pass me a hit. I don't want to make... Yeah, we're only making one division at, division at a time, which is fine. We'll probably need basic weaponry. You know, we don't... Well, it'd be kind of cool if Enclave Divisions in Power Armor ended up using powered fists instead of laser weaponry. That actually sounds kind of fun, to be honest with you. Hmm. Research speed. We could do that. Eh, it's only 10. That's, that's fine. That's fine, you know. It's only 10. And... Boom. Expansionism. I really want to tap some loose ends right now. Actually, it would be better... They have open holes here completely. Klamath would be too hard to fight. Antelope tribes would be really fun to do as well, but... 
Tying up loose ends sounds like a lot of fun. The Yakuza have been a nuisance for Nerino almost since its inception. Their raiding parties often disrupt dealings that have been never been breached the cities before. Borders, or the city's borders. With their bases finally discovered, we should show them what did we do to our enemies, in which we will just pretty much cut them in half over here, or, you know, encircle those three divisions, come down here. Boom, that'll be it. Literally, that's all we have to do. Hmm, in time, I do want to make sure that we have enough, uh, Supplies for everyone, yeah. With a massive deficit like that, ooh. That's not bueno. But, you know what is bueno? Having more manpower. And doing this. There we go. Now we have enough. That might not save us on guns. Oh, there goes Kai's Lost Legion. Having a good time. We should be able to record this relatively soon-ish. It's only 104, which isn't bad. We need 95 compliance, 95%, and Vault City 162, which is a good thing. Cool, cool, cool. So much political power, but could always use more. Always could use more. It's so far pretty darn peaceful. It's only 2277, and you know, Kaiser's always at war, but it's fairly peaceful. A little bit too peaceful for me. For my liking, except I just noticed that High Chapel and the Murtaugh Reformers, well, they killed the Anointed Ones. Maybe, never mind. Maybe. Cool. Only 50 more days before we go to war. Everyone's pretty much ready, to, good to go. Uh, we might just be able to flood into Carson. Hmm. Wait for straight. That's good stuff. Cool. Yeah, we're just gonna come down there, come there, kill these three divisions off, split everyone else up, and have a good time. You're gonna get straight there. Tar White legs and tar walkers. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I'm waiting to see if we can help out any more settlements. Oh, let's see where we get into. Taking forever. Yeah, we have. Oh, actually, I could buy more guns. I sold guns earlier. I should not have sold them. Tying up loose ends. Oh, uh, yeah, we can afford that. Uh, ooh, basic melee weaponry. And that's okay. Cool. Since we did that, let's keep going down here. Sergeant Granite Defense Company or Research Speed Enclave. Oh, Enclave. Oh, that might be pretty good. And I'll do this one. A waylaid company of Enclave Remnants, the company has found a moderate living and protecting smaller settlements from raiders with their highly advanced technology. The grizzled leader, Sergeant Granite, diligently trains his company to wait the return of the Enclave. He's very open with that. Very, very open. Maybe a little bit too open, as some might say. Cool. You're just coming straight down here. I'm going to take half you guys. You're coming straight down here, except you are going to come straight down there. That's it. Beautiful. I am not expecting, like, huge victories here, but, you know... Whatever. As long as we can cut these guys off, that's all that matters. And you don't want to wait too long before the Yakuza tribes gets too strong, even though this we're not playing with the mod compilation where they have an extremely awesome focus tree. God, I love the focus tree here. Like, if you have never played the Yakuza uh, Territory's focus tree, oh, it's good. It's some good stuff, man. It is some seriously good focus tree. I love it. Come on. Go, 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 go. Get to Fallon. Come on. Cut him off. Cut all these guys off. These guys already got cut off, which is great. Public projects are nice to have. Construction speed, good. Anything over here? Not yet. Oh, we're super close. Super close. Please, come on, get more compliance before we need... Before we raise our population, which makes it even more expensive. Come on, come on, come on. Nope, not yet. There we go. We can cord that one. We can't cord this yet. Benditos, how much would it take for us to call for this one? 164. That's not bad. More than 95%. There we go. We caught it. Great. We got Carson. We got Fallon. Uh, do we need Tobin Waste? Oh, God. We need Carlin. Are you kidding me, man? You know what? Help him out here. How many men have we lost? We've lost 77. That's quite a bit. They've lost 200. Less than I thought, but it doesn't even matter. So we took out Vault City last time. We've taken out the Yakuza tribes now. Definitely expand, but now we're going to need a lot of stuff to garrison these areas. So you guys, just do militia. That's fine. We're going to need a lot of equipment for this. Wow. Infantry armor is actually looking okay. Actually, we're doing better on infantry equipment. Probably because they capitulated and we took their stuff. It's always nice taking pe other people's stuff. Sometimes. Don't steal. Unless you win a war. Then you're okay. And we'll do the same thing right here. All we need... Right there. Boop, boop. And those two divisions will die easily. And we love it. Uh, go ahead and do that. I know it's ahead of time. It's probably not worth doing actually right now. That's okay. We're going to wait till we get more stuff there. Basic weaponry. Because we need more guns. And I don't want to hurt its production value. It's not worth pouring that. 
Uh, this stuff will all be cored soon enough. Actually, we probably are forced to core Gon Golconda. Even though I probably would prefer to core this next uh, right there. No. No, I don't I don't want I don't want the army. Come on. Don't give me the army. Nice. Very good. Now we can do all this stuff too. Oh, oh! Has National Spirit Mordinos. Oh, we can't get the the art. Okay, so we can't get all the stuff. That's weird. The family? Bishops. Ah, Japanese steel. Japan steel. Requires all of the following. Requires one of the following. Okay, that makes it easier then. Carson Lake. Actually, we went the right way. We actually got a factory out of all this other stuff. All this other stuff is okay. The civilian factory would be nice, but that's okay. Calling the savages. Cast for loyalty. Yeah, we might as well do that one. So, though many say mercenaries' allegiances are fragile at best, caps are the greatest motivator for many living in the wasteland, and we have lots of it. You know what? You know what? Never mind. I want to get rid of this done. I want to get setting up shop as fast as possible. So, Japanese steel. The Yakuza are, of course, famous primarily for their exemplary edged weapons. For example, Wakazi, Zashi, and Katan. While this is somewhat aloof from regular products that new Reno Arms launches, it's hardly worth missing such a great opportunity. It does take a full two months to research. Oh, yes. Oh, it makes me so happy when I see that power armor. Oh, I feel good now. I feel real good. Granite's company. Yeah, does the Enclave Remnants have anything? No. It's okay. Oh, I don't want to change you guys out. I love Granite's Enclave. Well, we'll have our own division before we're done here. Cool. We could, we probably honestly need to quarter that. How about Gekka for this? God. Mm. Can't touch it. Marching fire. Cool. Let's just grab the next one. With hit and run. Nope. It wants me to click on my divisions. I don't. I, I like my divisions, but it's just sometimes I need to click on other areas. Please, please, please. Because I can click on this. I'm just gonna click on Gecko. That sucks. Uh, well, I guess this one will have to be cored first then, because I don't mind coring the Pale Folk. We're just not gonna core the Yakuza and stuff. So, slightly more manpower, but it is what it is. <sighs> Coffee is such a great thing. Over here, Battle Mountain, Primitive Radio. Not bad. Grab that one. Cool. Cowboy Country. Oh, yeah. Help settlements, please. Restore a naval air station Fallon. Yes. No, we are not going to get demilitarization or an end to slavery. Really? Really? Followers of the Apocalypse, please. You know, I kind of wish that, you know, maybe in the future, in a future update, there will be more that we could do with the Followers of the Apocalypse. Like, imagine if they, like, took over the nation or something, or they had even more influence, which could be really bad, or really good. And uh, maybe making an anarcho-pacifist nation. Hmm. That's kind of wild to think about. Anyway, spoils of war. The destruction of the Yakuza gleamed many spoils of war, as they had sustained for years on stealing from us. It is only right that we now have these spoils of war, which should flow back to us. Yes. Uh, medical tech. It's only ten. That's fine. Well, research that soon enough. This has never really been beneficial. I've used these drugs before in a campaign on cha on my channel, I but I never use them. I never really found them to be that useful. I mean, yeah, you get a little bit more attack, maybe, but you lose uh, quite a bit more attack. But you lose attrition, a lot of organization, eventually. But just, mm, I don't know. It, it really doesn't seem worth it. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe it's really, really worth it, and I should always use it. But you guys, when do you, when do you guys you play Old World Blues? Do you use drugs if possible? I mean, you, you go use the black market. I mean, guns are guns, you know. Guns, cool. Totally awesome, but... Do you ever use Jet, Buff Out, or Psycho? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know. Like, who else uses that stuff? I mean, obviously, slaves. I mean, who doesn't love their slaves? Slaves forever. Forever. But, man, hmm, I don't know. Also, I'm joining here with my cat, Binky. Yeah, he just made a noise in the background. Right, Binky? Yeah, you taking a nap? Taking a good old nap? Yeah, good. Don't bother us. Don't bother us. Cool. Let's go ahead and do this since we are good on guns for now. What else do we need? We need a lot of stuff. Wow. <laughs> wow, we need a lot of stuff. Oh, the Steel Rangers. Cool. Interesting. Interesting. They not, do not ally with the NCR. Instead, choosing a different path, you can go suck a fat one, reduce conscription, demilitarization, and end to slavery. Who's going to listen to these people? Seriously. Is anyone going to listen to them? If you don't, if you have no power, why would anyone listen to you, right? 
Coffee's always good. Woo! Spoils of war, then a week. And I do want to take out the Antelope Tribes before we're done here. Man, I wish... I need to play the Troll Warren again. It's been a while since I've played as them. But, there go the Tar Walkers and the Spoils of War. So we have Kossan Lakes. Before the Great War, Kossan City lived mainly due to tourist business and resorts, mostly which were famous for the lakes located near the city. We could complete restoration of these resorts and place a casino for guests inside. I love casinos. Man, I'd love to own a casino someday. I think that'd be awesome. I think that'd be really awesome. I could make the community quite wealthy that way, maybe. But then again, casinos are casinos. Hmm. Then again, right now, I am Salvatore. So, we'll see what happens. Casino simulator when? Oh, we actually get stability. I should have done this one first. We get 200 caps. A civilian workshop. 5% more stability. That sounds so good. So good. So we got quite a bit of demo equipment now, which is nice. Infantry armor's looking pretty good. I have no use for mole rats. I'm sorry. I, I'm not a big fan of them. They're okay, but I'm just not a big fan. You guys, there were some demo companies, so you hit even harder. Which now we should have a, a deficit, maybe? No? God. God. Go ahead and train everyone. Except for you guys. You guys look amazing. Like they should. No triggers. Good. Good, good, good. Let's go back over here. We should have enough equipment to maybe switch out one of these groups. Nice. Nice. We're still mobilizing. We are not. How is this looking? 27%. It's probably slowly going down. Slowly, slowly. We're getting more compliance, which is nice. That is really not worth coring right here, but this is the only way we can get through here without coring the rest of the Yakuza territories. Reputation looks pretty good. Got some of that just a little bit ahead of time, which is fine. Totally cool. Oh, still got a little more army XP, huh? What are we building? More? Good. Yeah, that's, good. that's some good stuff. Got some lakes. Slaves. Yeah. With the state transfer tool mod in the way, having looking at slaves is pretty good. I love slaves. Yeah, I don't like how peaceful it is. I keep saying it's peaceful, but it's not, but it kind of is. Come on, more war. There should be a free-for-all mod in Old World Blues. That'd be kind of cool. Instant declaration of war between every nation. That'd be kind of wicked, but setting up shop. The land the Yakuza occupied is actually valuable with some quite a bit of population there. Perhaps now we should franchise and set up casinos in the new territory we have occupied and bring them into the fold. Absolutely. So do the to do these, do you need to have all of them at the bottom? Or the state of New Reno? Require all of the following setting up shop. And then one of probably these three. Placing a bet. Alright, City of Sin, probably the same way. Yeah. We could get that. We don't have to get that. We can create our own faction though. I really want to create our own faction. The Nevada Pact. But even if we become the NCR, or not the NCR, if we, if we become the Enclave, doesn't mean that we'll stay in that pact, you know? Kind of give and take. Oh, there it is. Salajan Granite. That, it might be worth getting already. Hmm. Core more stuff. Sergeant Granite. Hmm. Do we have... No. Pablo there. Uh... Oh, so we have Thread the Immortal. Army XP gains okay. Training time is also okay. I'm not really focused on training more soldiers yet, though. So, we can kind of wait on that. I really just want to become the Enclave by the end of this episode, too. So, we only got 40 more days until we get three more free cores, which would be amazing. Oh, resistance is pretty darn down low as well. And that's always nice. Are we missing anything? No, we actually have enough advanced components. Can you believe that? Empty armor. How is this looking? Looking not too bad. Oh yeah, resistance should be dropping. Nice. Zoom in so the game processes processes just slightly faster. Cool. Ooh, gecko, huh? Not bad, not bad. If I switch you to this, how much will we need? One. Oh, is that? Do we have enough for that? We don't, but we're pretty close. Super circuitry, good. good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. The defenses are online, the officer deserves a raise, bring up more supplies, and keep up the sweep. That is good stuff. Let's see, we got 23 more days until we get irrigation done, and we can set up a shop in a week. I love shops. Smoking shops, huh? Smoking, smoking shops. What happened there? Personal, personal slaves. Man, I'll tell you what I'll do with a couple personal slaves. We'll build a lot of casinos. Cool. With that done, I mean, I don't really care about making our own faction. That's... that's 
Okay, stuff. So. Caps for loyalty, though. Though many say mercenaries' allegiances are fragile at best, caps are the greatest motivator for many living in the wasteland, and we have lots of it. Beautiful. Keep building, my friends. Build. Oh, maybe you want to do that one. Eh, it's kind of okay to do first. Cool. This stuff, we actually have enough for everything here. Wow. Wow. Gonna do that for now. I'm probably gonna invest more into power armor, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, we could we can invest more pretty much into everything. This stuff can wait a little bit, that stuff can wait a little bit, that stuff can come down there. I still would like more planes eventually. We do get vertebrates too. Irrigation's always nice to have as well. 1.9, do that one next. Three days for backyard workshops. We can produce even more goods with 3.6 thousand manpower. So that's not enough, but it's a pretty good amount. We'll get some more resources just in case for the future. And then maybe we'll do some medical technology as well. That would be very good to do. Slaves? Of course. And do that one too. Good. After this one, we're going to wait to do military council funding so we can go straight for calling the savages. Ooh, actually, which one can we do? Bishops or the family? Assimilation. Bishops, <clears throat> the family. Sli oh, yeah. Yeah, Modoc Slavers Guild. Recruitable population factor. I'll I chose the right one. When you go with the, with the Enclave path, you get 2% more population there as well. Oh, that's so good. So good. Cool. And I do want to go to war with these guys before we end the episode as well. Uh... Just, I think I'm just going to save my political power up. There's really no point to spend it yet. Not too much experience there. Crazy eyes. Milt. Not learning much there, huh? And Paul Rip. He's going to rip you a new one. Rip you a new one. Cool. Hey, we're even making fire teams. Great. How much infantry armor? Not an extreme amount, but sometimes you don't need an extreme amount to do a good job. Yeah, we don't have enough for it, but soon enough we will. And that's a good thing. God, I love I love Enforcers. I'm so glad they put Enforcers into Old World Blues. It's like the armored cars of regular Hoi 4, vanilla Hoi 4. <clears throat> they're cheap, they're affordable, they do a great job. I love them so much. Cool. Come on, cast for loyalty, great. And let us do calling the savages to our north. The savage antelope tribe drive property prices down and threaten our citizens. How is anyone supposed to run a business with these tribal stinking up the place? We should drive them out. We should absolutely drive them out. So we'll go at war with the antelope tribes, have a good time, maybe enslave them. Uh, so when we're at war, we're also going to do military council funding. When we're done with war, we'll do the slavers guild. We'll do hordes of the north, Modoc farmstead, placing a bet maybe. Probably, I don't know, maybe we will we will get to the Enclave by this episode, maybe next episode. Just because I am very tempted to do this. Very tempted to do the Nevada Pact. Just to see what happens. Because I really don't care to do City of Sins. If we're doing the Enclave, sinning is okay, I guess you could say. I don't know. If we're playing as the Enclave, I think we should try to be as pure as possible, as some might say. Purity is... A good idea sometimes and we wouldn't want to taint our body with <clears throat> all this liquor around here and drugs uh, let's see what's next but sometimes you might need to just saying uh, I mean, that, that helps us anyways regardless of what we do god dang it I forgot to do medical tech stuff cool that's fine let's see cool yeah we could do that we could can we do this one no we can't it's not neighboring core yet. Is it even worth really doing this area? Hmm, not too much. It's actually more worth doing this one to get more factories, actually. Where do we have all of this? So, everything is a core, except these three. Technically, I don't even have to core anything here. But that would help us get to went over more quickly to core that state, which would be very nice. And we come over here, we got some radio, first of all. Uh, 5,000, 6,000, that's not bad. This might have quite a few factories we could use later on as well. Or we could save it for the antelope tribes. Even though we do get core on that, this, as well as Great Gons, no. No, not that one. Uh, that, that tile too. This is okay. Anything from the antelope tribes that we need to core as well? Not really. It's not really worth it. They are dying to resistance. Jesus. Walking tanks. We're gonna go with purity. If, if you're playing as the Enclave and you don't do purity, are you really playing the Enclave? Are you really? Maybe. Maybe not. 
Cool. Calling the savages? Yes, please. Yeah, Carlin would probably be good to do. So let's just do not. Oh, I don't want to do that one. Ah. <sighs> yeah, do it anyways. I'll get over it. Calling the savages now to do military council funding in an almost unprecedented act. We can formalize a council of mobsters devoted entirely to arranging military actions among the mobster bodyguards and mercenary armies we have on contract. Uh, actually, before we do that, let's do this one thing first. Let's actually get some planes. Planes are a beautiful thing if they are on your side. Come on to uh, the most important group here. Three, two, it really doesn't matter, because actually, let's see. Let's see. They are manpower. We might not win everywhere, that's okay. Do that one as well. What really matters is that we can get inside their lines very quickly. Cut these guys off first, of course. Smart decisions must be made. Good. Oh, another division. Good, good, good. Can I core this? Yes, I can. We core that one. That's just fine. Go and core Carlin. That's fine as well. No resistance there. I'd recommend just going straight up to their capital. We cut these guys off almost immediately. Come on. Come on. You got legs. Move, move, move. We've lost 40, which isn't bad, versus 570. All the alphabetic ciphers. We have this one as well. We can only get 28 people a month, which isn't very much, but that's okay. Go that way. You guys come to Elko. You get some motorized flight. Uh, we, we will get gunships, but it might be a while before we can actually get to gunships, so. Dineo. Cool. Go ahead and go that way. That'd be good. Should have sent my power arm to come this way first. There we go. Beautiful. Now, now we have even more stuff to... Oh my gosh, we need so much infantry armor. Uh, you guys. You guys can do rider stuff. You guys will come do... Actually, the antelope tribes aren't too bad themselves. But this is god-awful, the Cyclops tribes. So, we gotta wait. That's gonna cost us a lot of... Yep, manpower. I knew it. You know what? You're gonna save so much manpower by doing that. Now we're stuck between... The Marrow Drinkers, the D Steel Rangers, and the 80s. I have a good feeling the 80s don't like us. A fairly good feeling. A pretty, pretty darn good feeling that they don't like us. If we piss them off now, we might be able to bait them into attacking our lines like crazy. But I'm probably going to help settlements, first of all. But secondly, what we're going to do is get more manpower. Because we need it. We just straight up need it. And more research speed is good. Cool. Frequency analysis, good. More research speed. I love it. You know, one of the best things about Overworld Blues is how fast the game runs. It's just awesome. Just straight up awesome. You can't go wrong with Overworld Blues. It's probably my favorite mod for Hoi 4. Especially compared to the speed compared to Kaiserreich. Oh, there's no comparison. Speed, speed, speed is definitely something to keep in mind. We could do Enclave Technicians. We could immediately go for the Enclave, but, you know, we're in power. I don't think we really need to do that yet, but let's get some uh, Slaver's Guild. You know, that's a nice thing to have. Though quite a controversial action, enslaving the people of Modoc would cause an influx of slaves that could be used as bodyguards for mobsters and would retain the benefits we get from working their farmsteads. But, you know why I also went to war with the Antelope Tribe? Because now this increases the border we have with Klamath. Which means, of course, we could have a good time and go to war with them and kill them off first before the 80s, if they go to war with us, because you never know. With historical AI off, you never know if we're going to get attacked by these guys, which has happened between me and the 80s before. So, oh, come here to good luck. <laughs> good luck. That's all I gotta say. Good luck. And also, if we're over here, supply won't be as bad because resistance is 14% compared to 75 flipping percent over there. That's way too much. Wow, we need a lot of guns. Holy crap, we need a lot of guns. Uh, that's not good. If we need that many guns, go and take them off the planes. That's fine. We have a surplus. I'm not going to take anything off that. That'll be good. I know this video's gone on a little bit longer than normal, but this is actually pretty much probably the normal length of video that I normally do, if you're new here. Also, as a reminder, in yesterday's video, I had a little mention of a poll I'm running on my Discord server. Go to my Discord server, vote for the poll for which nation I will play first in August 2020. And if you're seeing this after August 2020, well, I hope you're having a good month regardless. Slay. Vegas declared war in Vegas. Oh, actually, you know what? We have money. Let's buy some guns. Before someone tells me in the comments to and say, Mr. Mocha Lover, why don't you remember to buy guns using your money? Because even though I want to say I don't like spending money, I love spending money, man. I don't know. My mind right now is just like, whoa! That's okay. Ah, look, look how handsome he is. So handsome. And you went to war with that damn buzzers quickly. Oh, Nellis Air Force. Oh, you've been kicked out. 
of New Vegas, Mr. House. Okay. That is quite the alliance, actually. Oh, that's McNamara. I don't think I've ever really seen him. Uh, Large-scale slavery? Heck yeah, the savages of antelope tribes are worthless almost, except as potential slaves. Capturing the remnants of the tribe and putting them to work, even as personal bodyguards, is sure to have great, great benefits. We get some manpower, lose a little bit of stability, and get some more caps. God, I love slaves. Refine tools. Oh, uh, yes. I know I'm taking a while to get to the Enclave stuff. We probably won't be able to get to it in this episode, but the next episode we definitely, definitely, definitely will. Uh, I've waited long enough to do that. Let's grab that. That's good. Supply-wise, do we have anything here? Support equipment we could use, maybe? Maybe some doggos on the riders? Maybe not yet, though. Triplane attackers. Very cool. Basic fighters that would help out. Very nice. We're going to set ourselves up very nicely for the future when we do have vertebrates. Mm, do that. That'd be good. Anything else here? Probably not. Anything else here? Probably not. Probably not. Nothing really new and different here, which is fine. New Vegas with Annex New Vegas. And, oh, they're dying. Oh, God. The king is has to fight all of them. Cool. We can raise our conscription up one more time, which is a good thing, even though we're doing large-scale slavery. And we're getting more manpower from what we've already raised from large-scale slavery. I love it. Oh, the timekeepers are here. Is anything else? Non-discriminatory targeting? Yes, we target everyone. Uh, airborne assaults look very, very good. Anything else? Get some more, more money soon for the dogs. Ooh, the Marrow Drinkers are attacking the Marlock tribes. I think the Marlock tribes really only have one path they can really go down. Yeah, they have no other alternative route, which I... Which is okay. It's not great, but it's okay. I kind of wish they had more paths to take so they could do maybe a few other things, but... To play as them again, I would like to. Hmm. That'd be okay, though. Actually, uh, this is looking good. Wait, that's just, This is all cord. It's great. Love it. Oh, maybe not Battle Mountain. Oh, that's the one we couldn't get to earlier. No, it's... Kolka. Gecko. Gecko. Actually, that's worth coring. Sort of. All this area over here, not so much. Yeah, this resistance will drop down soon enough. Ooh, Nueva Atsan's not having a good time. But, you know what? I'm glad we got all these modifiers earlier that help prevent or help reduce the amount of damage we get from garrisons, which is actually really good. Oh, looks like Kaiser's Legion is having a good time. Vikings, good. Healing power, good. Manpower is not looking good, which is fine. All right, Bink. Join here with my cat, Bink. There goes Vegas. Yeah, when people have civil wars and you attack them when they're in their civil wars, they usually don't do very well. Except these guys are doing okay down here. Are you at war? Hmm. Huh? Nice. Large scale slavery. Cool. Farmsteads. More multi population. Outposts. Let's do Modoc farmsteads. So, the farmsteads of Modoc are a great source of food for the people of Reno. Investing in their expansion could lead to a higher population in the city as more people prosper and stay fed. And then we'll do the Klamath deal, maybe. Even though we could rush for placing a bet. Because that will give us cores. I'm probably going to go down with taking the den. I do want to go to war with Klamath quickly, though. That might take some time. Whoops, I forgot that this was actually going still. Uh, Whatever, I'll just do that one. It doesn't really matter. Hey, we got some manpower finally again. Research speed? Mm -hmm. Let's not do that one yet. Gecko, how much do we need to core this? 153? That's quite a bit, but with 1.111, that's okay. Oh my gosh, you know what? As much as I love that, do eradication for now. We're not going to get any more compliance, I think. But hopefully their resistance levels just drop. 55? Oh, it goes down by 0.5. That's so nice. Going to do the same thing here. Just eradicate them for now. We don't have to do Western pacification. Save a little bit over here. Ooh. We can build more, huh? Nice. And then build some there. There you go. That'd be nice. Uh, saved on manpower a little bit down here. Waste and pacification. Oh, nice job, Kazos Legion. You're doing really well now. Keep that right there. That's fine for now. Not too worried about that at all. Waste and pacification. Pale folk have done a great job. You okay, Bink? Cool. Sporadic outposts. Nice. Waste and pacification. Sporadic outposts. Thank you very much. Waste and... Oh, I love eradicating our enemies, don't you? I know I do. 12%. Ah, nice. I think that's that's pretty low. We could probably come to Wasteland Pacification. And here we will... I was waiting for 9%. Here, we're going to wait. Because even though we're not getting any higher, 65% is not bad. Especially once it's dropping like crazy. Cool. Awesome. Grab that. Let time go on. Gliders. I'm trying to show you everything we do in the game. I just want to move fairly 
quickly through it. So we have 367, 360 some uh, of this. Let's see, you guys. 360. Probably not enough to do that there. Training programs, cool. I'm not even using the dogs yet. Do that since we have the extra bonus. NCR supports a rabble. Uh, yeah, of course they're a threat to our way of life. The Klamath Deal. So, Klamath is a small town to the north that, while not a threat to us, could be a decent enough asset or even ally. We should strike a trade deal with a small town, perhaps even open up greater relations. Oh, we're going to have relations with them. They're not going to like the way I'm going to have relations with them, though. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Ooh, I, ooh that's not... 13... Uh, is it going back up? It's go probably going back up, isn't it? 20... 12.9%? Maybe not? Oh, it's going down! Good! But anyways, this video's gone on long enough. Um, tomorrow we shall become the Enclave, I promise you that. But if you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, vote in my poll, and I hope you all have a great, tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.